de mare. Thank you for joining us from around the world. Good morning on this side. Buenos dias. Uh, bonjour. Sabah al khair in all the languages. If you are joining us from the continent, then good afternoon. How do we say good afternoon in Spanish? Uh, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Masa al khair, wherever you are, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We are so happy for you to join us here at Africa Week 2020. This is our September reunion, and we have some very special guests here. We have the mama of one of our returning family members, Joey Zaza, and he recommended that we make this connection. So I will have his queen mother introduce herself and his <laughs> queen sister here also tell us about us. Mama, the introduction here is you tell us who you are, what keeps you up at night and how can the family help you? Okay, well, good morning. It's uh, still early here. <laughs> um, well, my name is Carmen Quinones Marcial. Okay. Um, what keeps me up at night? Uh, everything, my family, uh, are they well? Um, the state of, of, of the nation. Basically, those are the two. Okay, the health of, of everybody. How can we help do what we can to stay safe, to stay healthy, so that we don't infect other people? Mm. I think that would be it. Uh, uh, lots of prayers. Prayers are always good. Yes, yes, yes. We send prayers and we will look after ourselves because this is how we look after each other. Thank you for that yes. reminder. And the, yes, yes, the queen <laughs> sister. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who are you and what keeps My you name up is with Alexis from Puerto Rico. Alexis, what? Go Puerto Rico. <laughs> Alexis, what keeps you up at night? How can how can the family help you sleep better? Well, my family is 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 at me at night, but we just get get life. And yes. keep us going. Yes, we do. That's the prayers. That's what we need now, right now. Always, always, always prayers. Well, family, as you tune in, let me tell you on a little secret here. The great Mama Carmen does a lot of work with the bobbins. She is going to be sharing with us what bobbin lace is, what it is in her life, her journey with it, how it started, and she's going to do it after a lot of convincing. She's going to be doing it and showing us so we learn by seeing her do it. So as she sets up, I also found out that her daughter is equally talented and does some amazing bags and they're just sitting there at home. So I have asked her and she kindly agreed to show us what she does because you know what? We are creators. We keep saying we are co-creators. The worst thing for us as human is not to create. This is how sadness begins. This is how depression starts. If we are not creating, then something in us is not functioning right. So as... Right. La Mama prepares her setup to show us. 
Alexis will take the phone and she will show us the bags that she works with, a little bit about how and when she started and when um, this Queen Carmen is ready. She will tell us she okay. is ready and we will Let, the let me turn her around. Let okay. me turn around so I can turn the camera around for you. <laughs> no, no, give her the okay, phone as go. you get ready. No, no, give, give Alexis the phone. She will get ready and you prepare the, the table or is the table ready? Okay. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. You see, just point at your. No, no, just like that. No, no, fine, fine. I see. Okay. Okay. See how you you can see the camera. Oh, okay. There you go. Look, Look at it. this is my bag. Amazing. That's the bag I make. Show us one. Show us your favorite one, Alexis. Which one's your favorite? My favorite is. This one here. Don't show them my favorite. This Don't show them Migos. my favorite as in they take it. Wow. You made this, you made this from scratch. You made all of it. Uh, the Mondillo, I don't make it. But the bag, yes, I made it. Wow. And this is a long bag? Yes. It's a shoulder strap. It's the shoulder strap. Oh wow. Look this at the beauty of this work. And where did you sell them, Alexis? Well, I sell them in the fairs, but right now for the pandemic, we can't go to the fairs. When did you start making bags? Well, I, start, I started making the bag when I was in high school. Oh, wow. I took a class in um, Economia Domestica, and my teacher had to teach me how to make bags. Can can we say and this? Can we see is. this one from the inside? The can we yes. see? Yeah, yeah that okay. one because it looks like on the inside it's also there's fabric. Yes, it's lined. Amazing. Yeah. And she puts pockets in it. They have pockets. Oh wow! Look at that. And these are crocheted pieces that I make, and I give them to her. Oh, what? Look, it's a family business. It's a family business. Yes. And it's yep. a family talent. And she has this one. These are just are not lined. No, it's just kind of like a big hobo bag. And they're, they're not lined. But it's also a shoulder strap. And, 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 and you can carry, but they're sturdy enough. You can carry books. So it can be like a college bag. Um. Or is it too light I, for that? I think it would be too light for a lot of books. Mm -hmm. um, you might be able to get a small notebook and a book and your wallet, your phone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and she does make them in sturdier material. Can she we does for like books and she makes them bigger. Can we see the, the orange bag on the side? This one? Yes. Oh, wow. Look at the this green. Is the same. The same. See, this one is not lined either. Um, How it's kind of like the girls use it as like beach bags. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take you to make one, Alexis? Can you? We can turn the the family well, show some love okay. to this talent. You want? I wanted to show you this one again. No, don't That's show mine. it to them. <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> it's like hold it like that. Look at this so beauty! Can, Look at that. It has a zipper. It has a zipper, and it's lined inside. Family, if you're seeing this, don't get any ideas. That bag is mine. I already agreed. <laughs> I already put it on hold from Alexis. She can maybe make something similar for you, but this one is mine. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And how yeah, this long, one is how also long does it this take is to... bobbin lace. This is bobbin lace. Um, we bought it from uh, an old lady in one of the fairs. She made. She was making them, and she was selling them so cheap, you know. And I just bought whatever three yards she had. I bought it from her because it's so colorful. I like it. And this is this yeah. is also what you make. You make the bobbin lace. I make the bobbin lace. Yes, but this one I didn't make. I bought it for, from someone. From a, you know. We we buy from each other, the artists. Of course, of course. And this one is also we, also um. We support. We support. We have uh, Lily Montgomery here tuning in, saying, uh, "Lovely work, ladies." Cat Bento saying, "Beautiful." 
and Marisa sending lots of hearts your way. So this is this is excellent talent. Ali, tell me, how long does it take you to make one bag? Well, one bag it takes me like five days. Five More days. Like, it takes you about a day. About a day. One day. More or less. One day. Yeah. Okay. One day. Yeah. Okay. And you said you have not been you have not been um uh making going and selling them because of the pandemic and the fairs so what are you doing now are you still making bags well what now no i'm not yeah yeah why because my mom had to help me okay yes yeah, she's, she's the one that helped me to make the bag so okay but there are parts that you know how to make without without mom yes okay so yeah. you will be doing these because i think I believe this work, we need to be seeing more of it. It's handmade. Yes, okay. it's sister made. Yes. Yes. And we need yes. to support our women. So I will ask of you to be making more of these. And what we can do here, what I would like to see is I would like to have you back at Africa Week 2020. So just like Mama now is going to show us how she does the bobbin lace, we can have uh, an interview with you where you will show us how you do the full bag. Lily Montgomery is saying, how much do the bags go for? Can you tell us the pricing usually? Okay. Um, this one with the Mondillo is $20. Let's see. Show, show us. Turn it around so we can see again. Yeah. Okay. This one is $20. Okay. It's by the base. Okay. okay. Um, and this orange bag is ten dollars. Okay. Yeah. And, and what about these, this one, the lined one? But that's us. <gasps> yeah, but yeah. it makes these and these are fifteen. <laughs> but that's us. You know what? She's taking it off. <laughs> that's us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wow. The background is all bobbin lace. Wow. Uh, oh, look at that. Wow. Is that framed? Yes, it is. And this is all uh, bobbin lace. That's that's stunning. And we have Lily here saying this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is this Thank is you. Amazing. We have a working fan. And the lace is bobbin lace. You made the lace on that? Oh my god. Yes, yes. Okay, Joey, you're forgiven for not having a panel, but allowing us to have this time with your mom instead. I, I forgive you. Wow. Here's this is another amazing. fan. This is the first fan I ever made. Uh, it's maybe 20 something years old, and I had a frame. This is so beautiful. I love these. These are like my favorite. These are the uh, three mag eyes. What are these? And I make them. I make. I make them in sets, the three mag eyes. Oh, wow. See, and they're, they're hollow out. It's all laced. And the head is, um, the head is a seed of one of the uh, palms that we use here on the island. Wow. That's amazing. And each, each mag eye has a different, has a different gift. This one has the gift of wood for those who work with wood. This one has the gift of seeds so that we can uh, plant and keep producing. And this one has thread for those who work with thread. Wow. They're my artisan mag eyes. Your art, well, I know we need them. <laughs> okay, this is, this is fantastic. Oh, wow. These are some of the other things that I make. they jewelry, pendants. Um, I think these are the earrings. So lovely. Bracelets. Do you make belts as well? Belts I haven't made, but they can be made. Because this one, the yellow and the orange one, sort of looks like a belt. If the sides were 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 a bit longer, I could totally use that as a belt. But I imagine it would be very um, uh, delicate to. Yeah, that. well, it would have to be made bigger because this is a bracelet. See how small it is? Oh, in my okay, hand. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, and these can are Ali all... put it on just so we see how it looks like as a bracelet? Oh, well, I have one here. I have. I'm wearing one now. Oh wow! There it is. There. Look at that. Look at that, fan. You tired? Marissa says she needs that fan. Nice try, but you know what? If she, if you're talking about the first fan, nah, no. Which one? <laughs> I know Marissa said she needs that fan. I need that fan, Carmen. I don't know which fan she's talking about. Marissa, tell us which it's fan fun. you are talking about. If it's this one, okay. But if it's the if it's the first ever fan that's framed, no. I'll, I'll have to. I'll, nah, I don't think that's for sale. And if it is, it'll have to go for an auction because no. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I can make it, another it like one. It's just a piece of one, art. <laughs> it's a piece of art. And Lily Montgomery is saying your talent is beauty filled. Oh, she's talking about the red fan. The red fan, yes. Oh, well, you know, I yes. think I think Marissa, you're gonna have to create another account called uh, Bobbins by Carmen, <laughs> Bobbin <laughs> Lace by Carmen, and. Uh, there because yes this this is such beauty and such wonderful oh, no no can we see the one in the back that is my husband's uh watercolor wow Mashallah, <laughs> that's amazing that's that's beautiful i i love that one i do wow and he's got this Joey, I that's feel for, I feel for you. I feel for you. Now now I feel like maybe, maybe you just felt like, you know, with all this talent you have around you and your family, you may not have much to offer. I disagree with that, but I feel you because the, the creative gene definitely skipped me in the family. And this is how I feel when I look at oh wow, look at that. Wow. I love this one. Mm -hmm. I love his watercolors. And this one, if you turn it upside down, um, she's playing a flute. This part here, the nose, yeah, yeah. the legs. I see it, yeah. 
Wow. Stunning, stunning. Yeah, on a piece of uh, wood. I'm speechless. <laughs> Such beauty. That's, and, and the that's cross. Part of what I do. The cross on the on the bottom is that uh, also uh, lace. Yes. Yes. This this is um. You can use, well. You can see against my hand. It's it's a little larger piece. And uh, the people use flies. these are all things mark. that people can stitch onto their clothes. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. See, this I made for a um a blanket for a baby that I haven't quite made the blanket yet, but that's for the baby. Bebe. It says baby. Yes. So wonderful. and this is the um, this is the edging that will go around the blanket. Well, once the blanket is done, please take a picture so we can share it with the family. And now will you tell us, will you show us a little bit of how it's done? And if you tell yes. us how, what started your journey, because this is such okay. intricate work, such, such talent. And I'll read here some of the comments we have as people watching us. Family, wherever you're tuning in from the world, let us know so we can tell these ladies where their work has reached. Lily saying, okay. beautiful. Uh, Juan Pelo saying, What pa? <laughs> Joey saying he can't take credit, and that was Marissa who did the email. Alexis Marissa saying, You're most welcome. I can't wait to get a hug and meet you. I second that. Oh, I can't wait to get all so of nice. you. So, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that she like my bag, and I hope to see her soon. <laughs> she can hear you, Marissa. <laughs> we we, you know what? Well, we already said because uh, Beto Beto put the uh, put the seed out there that we will be having one of our Africa Week 2020 reunions in Puerto Rico once things calm. So we are looking forward to seeing you and meeting you and hugging you and and getting these bags in person. But in the meantime, please take pictures of these bags, put them on Twitter, put them on Instagram. Let us start sharing this great talent. Look at all these threads. Look at that. These are the bobbins, uh, you know, like the bobbin when you sew, you put the thread on the bobbin. So they, these are called bobbins. They have the, the thread on them. Okay. It's a matter of twist and, and cross. Right now, this is a twist. We go um, right over left, right over left, and then we cross the two center ones. We cross them, and then we twist, twist, and cross again. And what happens is that the threads, they interlock, they interweave, yeah. and then that'll hold the stitch. You put a pin in, you put the pin in place, and that'll hold the stitch. And then we twist, cross, and we go back to the next side, to the other side. And we always, one of the questions I'm always asked is, um, how do you know which, which stick? Yeah. To pick up. Well, we always work the next pair because it's always worked in pairs. So we pick up the next pair, and those are the ones that you're going to cross. We're twisting, twisting, and cross. It all depends on which stitch you're doing, whether you're going to uh, twist them or just leave them hanging uh, without working. But in this stitch that I'm doing, which is the half stitch, we cross. Twist twist and cross. We twist, twist, cross. And since I'm at the end, I'm going to twist and cross again so I can put the pin. And is the pin what's used to create the design? How you align the pins? Is that what, what dictates the design you're, you're working on? Yes. Um, let me see if I can show you. Uh, can you see the design there? Oh, wow. The lace. Oh, wow. Yes. See, it's coming down here. We have a pattern. See how we have the pattern I there? See. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we have the pattern, and we're working on top of the pattern. Okay. Um, and that's how I know what design I'm going to make. Okay. Wow. Okay, look the... Okay, we have a question. Is there a preferred wood to make the bobbins? Um, no, 
it all depends on the person's um, likes, the person's likes. Um, I like different woods. I like different woods. Um, this one is called Nazareno. It's got like a purplish hue to it. I love it. It's got a very crisp sound to it. Um, I, I like the sound of the bobbins yeah. when you're working on them. I like the sound of the wood. So different woods have different density, and so they give you a different sound. Um, this, the, the Nazareno, is very light. I like the color of it because it's, it's got a purple hue to it, but it's a very crisp sound. Um, I also have these, which I love, I love, I love. They're um, black ebony. Oh, nice. Yes, and this artisan actually imports it from, um, I think he said he had imported it from Africa to make the bobbins. So he doesn't make bob those bobbins for everybody because they tend to be more expensive. Um, but I love them. My husband gave them to me for Christmas one year. He gave me two dozen and I just love them. <laughs> oh, wonderful. But does it yeah. affect, does it affect how the threading, the threading works? Does it matter the kind of wood, uh, on how it holds onto the thread or is there a certain quality for it? Or is it just how it's shaped and made? No, actually, um, the, the thread will hold on anything. I, I know people who, um, use pencils as bobbins oh yeah yeah they'll just take the pencil you know the brand new pencils without sharpening and they'll wrap around the top where the, the um eraser part is they'll, they'll do like maybe one or two inches below the eraser and that's what they use as bobbins you know if if you need it if you're short on bobbins and you got to get a work done and you got pencils use the pencils and it's any thread um, no, the thread does depend on what stitch you're going to make and basically, um, the size of the, of the space, the size of the space between, uh, stitches. Okay. Uh, um, okay. if it's very small, it's a very small space. You got to use fine thread. If you, you got a can you big show us space. an example of, of a different uh, design that could use? Because I did see you have different um, textures, I suppose, for, for some of the things you showed us. So I'm guessing maybe some of them are, um, what do you call it? Um, are they cotton threads? Yeah, we always use cotton. Okay. We always use cotton because it's more durable. Okay. Um, and it's fine. It gives you a fine length. Okay. Um, the thinner the thread, the finer the, the, the end product. Okay. I like to use a uh, thin thread, fine thread, okay. because it's, it gives you a more delicate lace. Okay. Um, I think I had a, a pink, uh, lace. I think it was pink and it was like, maybe, I don't think it's an inch thick. Um, and that's done with uh, machine embroidery thread, which is very fine. Um, but that takes forever. That takes forever if you got to do three yards. <coughs> Excuse me. If you got to do three yards, whoa, well, you know, you're going to be working forever on that. <coughs> and if they're that fine, is it not, um, how, I don't want to say sturdy, but like, if it's fine and later the the end product is it is it something that you have to obviously care with great care how do you clean it how do you how do you wash that lace okay well we always suggest that you you hand wash okay. we always suggest you hand wash um because you don't want to spend a lot of money on something and then just throw it into the washing machine and something happens and it gets torn up um but they can be machine wash it can because they're sturdy and it's not just one thread it's a lot of threads together so that gives you the the sturdiness how many because i'm seeing a lot of bobbins in front of you right there so yeah. like for the size of what you have in front of you how many how many bobbins are you using um i think i have 36 bobbins yeah that's <laughs> that's like the normal that's like the normal um, to make the this lace. Um, right now, I have one that's set up. I want to make 
the ends of a shawl. So I want to put both ends of the shawl in bobbin lace. Okay. I think I've got like 200 bobbins on there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, before we finish, I'll show it to you. Um, I've been working on it forever because it just becomes a little tedious for yeah, me. Yeah, I'll say 200 so, something bobbins. <laughs> <laughs> but um we have used a lot yeah wow what was your most intricate uh piece that you worked on that you remember your entire life because you have quite the career uh we hear and i'd like you to tell us more about that but what was the most intricate piece the most challenging piece you've worked on um I think besides the one that I'm working on for 200, <laughs> with 200, I also made um, a fan, which is on a permanent display in the museum in Moca, the Bobbin Lace Museum of Puerto Rico. Wow. Um, is in, um, it's in the town of Moca, which is where my family is from. Um, and I used about 200 for that uh, fan also. Yeah, and it had it, it had I believe it had three colors, so that would have been a little more challenging because I had to make sure that I kept each color in its in its area. Of course, oh, especially with the twists and only focusing to twist them. Yes. Oh my God! And you had to do it yes. with three different. Okay, I need to see a picture <laughs> of that, Joey. If you're watching, please try and find that. Uh, um, a picture or even the address for the museum when it's time we can go and and see it maybe that's a visit okay Carmen we have here someone saying Suzanne uh, tuned in saying good morning so happy to see this program my daughters Jane Margaret and Elizabeth and I so knit and crochet together it's very meaningful meditative work do you feel yes. the same when you're working with with Ali Yes, definitely, definitely. When I'm working on bobbin lace, um, I lose myself. I lose myself in 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 whatever I'm doing. Um, in the household, they know when mommy has a project to do and she's working on it, leave her alone. I don't hear, I don't feel, uh, I don't get hungry. It's the best diet. <laughs> I, I I don't get hungry. I can just be sitting here and working on my bobbin, on my crocheting, on my knitting. Whatever I'm doing, I can just get lost in it. What's when I'm longest? working with Alexa also, uh, she and I sit down at the sewing machine. Um, and because she has um, certain motor skills that are, uh, I don't want to say lacking, but they're, they're a little uh, challenging. Weak, then, yes, challenging. Um, so I always stand behind her and, and guide her hands uh, on the sewing machine. I know how much it hurts to have your fingers sewn through a, with the sewing machine. So I don't want that to happen to her. Yeah, no, we don't want that to happen. Nope. Yeah, I did that a lot to myself um, as I was growing up and learning how to sew. So, <laughs> but, well, but we do enjoy it. We do enjoy sewing to together. You behind her and have you guide her do that what's the longest you've sat uh in in doing this work and lost yourself in it whether you realize you know you you started doing the work and then you look up and be like oh it's four days later someone should yeah <laughs> <laughs> well i've sat down at times um uh which i i think it was the the fan that i was working on i was really into it um oh and there was another one that I was into. Um, I would sit down in the morning because it all depends on how much time I have during the day. Okay. Um, all these projects that I've done, I've either, um, either Alexis was still in school and I had to get up and go get her. Um, or uh, the latter ones, I was, uh, had my dad living with us. So I would have to stop when my hand is shaking. I would have to stop and um, make lunch for him, or I would have to stop and give him medication. Um, so I couldn't sit and, and work eight hours. Yeah. But I would say at least four or five hours I've been able to sit and work. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And, and one of the projects that I worked on that um, I was so engrossed 
was um, a, a project that I did. Um, it was a covering. Uh, it's like the size of a full size bed cover. Um, and I did the framework and it was framing complaints that the slaves, they found um, in one of the um, old haciendas in Puerto Rico, they used to have the largest number of slaves on the island. And they happened to find some of the complaints of the slaves against the owners. And what the, the, um, the oh, oh, I forget what the name of the, the, the office is called, but it's for the conservation of, of the culture of Puerto Rico. And they found them and they had a group of women from Moca um, make this covering in, in cloth. Most of it was drawn thread embroidery. And I had the distinction of making the frame for it in bobbin lace. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm writing all this down because um, I'm, I, I'm looking, I will, um, my, my very dear friend, uh, Julia Brennan, is a textile conservator and she <coughs> were, yeah, uh, and, and her work is phenomenal and um, her work is all like about community-centered work to preserve the heritage through textile. And yes. what you're saying okay. right now, like one of the things she worked on, and I was very, very privileged to be part of um, of her open house for that. It's, it's called Caring for Textiles on Instagram. Shout out to Julia Brennan. Um, and she she, wor she worked, she reconserved the, the, the coat of Frederick Douglass. And just see, wow. yeah, yeah. And her going into the details of how people don't pay attention to the, the, the memories and the heritage that is attached to cloth, to textiles, yes. to work. And now you are saying this word and amplifying it, especially in that I would love for her to, I would love for her to connect with you on that, uh, but also okay. to see where we can, where we can find that. Uh, what, where is it? Where is the, the, the cover now? Okay, it's called Asi, um, Hacienda Esperanza. And uh, let me ask my husband. Joe, Esperanza is where in Manati or Barcelona? Manati? It's in the municipality of Manati. Okay. I will I will definitely pass this on to her and hopefully connect. I don't know. I'm going to tag her to this. Jules, if you're watching this, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> um I'd like us to see some more of your work as 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 we speak. We do have questions here for you. Okay, we have a recommendation. Uh um, like this one. Hello. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Juan. Uh it says Carmen, you and Ali should make a podcast to show and sell your work. I agree and I second that wholeheartedly and I yield our platform at Africa Week 2020 anytime, set a time, maybe once a month, once uh, a week, however comfortable you are, come up here while you work on some of this and share some of these. Look at this. Look at her go. Oh. Look at her go. Mashallah, mashallah. Look at this. this is what we do to keep the evil eye away. I put some incense yes. on as well. Um, and then we have Joey saying, do you use the Mondillo for any style of dress? Um, you can. You can. I am a very, I'm very big on T-shirts, jeans, and sneakers. Um, so I have put Mondillo on my T-shirts. Okay. You just take. A plain five dollar t shirt, and you cut off the neckline and you put the mundillo on it, and you have a nice going out t shirt. And now, <laughs> pardon, pardon my ignorance, what is mundillo? Is that the final mundillo, product? It's the bobbin lace, it's the bobbin lace, it's called in mundillo. Spanish, yes, in Spanish, it's called mundillo. Okay, I, I learned something new today. 
one did Joe. Uh, Joey <laughs> says the sound of the sewing machine still puts him to sleep to this day. And Suzanne agrees. She says, yes, the sound of the sewing machine. My grandmother too. She uh, she sewed and sewed and sewed. She dressed her kids from elementary through to college and beyond. Um, taught my sister how to sew. So um, I think we still have her sewing machine in, in Egypt uh, wow. somewhere. Ali, can you put the camera up a little bit so we can see the design as it goes? Yeah, there we go. There you there. go. I, yes. I, Wonderful. Look at this beauty. Tell me about that. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. We got a closer look at the book. <laughs> I'm being yeah, hypnotized, I'm, people. I'm being hypnotized here. <laughs> wow. See, and these I leave, these I leave because these are then going to feed into the square to help make the square. The square, which is part of the design? Yes. Yeah. And what, what do you plan on using this for? Is this part of the blanket? No, this is not part of the blanket. The blank the part for the blanket is already done. I just need to get the um the material and sew it together. Okay. Um this could be used as a bag for Alexis. Um it could be if I make enough of it. If I make enough of it, then it could be used um for a dress um for a tablecloth okay okay it could be used for a tablecloth also we also make garters this way right. we also make garters for brides nice. i've made garters for brides now the bag that you showed us with the matching mask is that something you're doing more of is that something that uh you're selling maybe because you know it mask season oh. pandemic and all i know well actually i made them for myself um just just to make it um but uh it could be sold you know it hasn't been worn it hasn't been used it could be sold i, I could make another one um yeah okay. usually something pops into my head and i'm like oh this would be a good idea let me try it and i'll make it and then since I'm not going to fairs, I just leave it there. And it's stunning. Well, please, please yes. take pictures. And so I'm asking because, you know, now you have, you're still having, yeah, okay, it's still uh, COVID mania all over the place. But, 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 but um, people are still going out and having socially distant galas. Like I'm in October, I'm going to be going to uh, the dance, uh, dance place gala it's virtual, but we're meeting up at a friend's house and it's going to be socially distanced and it's a gala. So, you know, we're going to need our fancy masks and our fancy clutches. So this would be amazing. Uh, I would love to yes. see more of that. Um, and I don't know, family, if you're tuning in, let us know if this is something you'd be interested in. And just as I say galas, Joey is saying, what was it like having you work on Miss Universe? So forget the masks. Can I get some of these dresses if you made some for Miss Universe? <laughs> Okay, he said, what was it like having your work on Miss Universe and what was the most emotional uh, oh. piece of work closest to your heart? Joey, you, should, you need to get on this discussion here. I can send you the link if you feel like asking the questions. Here you go. Okay, well, um, it, it was exciting working for the Miss Universe. We did, um, I had sent you the pictures this morning, the applications. Yes, them out. Yes. Yeah. Those applications, um, I think we did like maybe 60, 70 applications to make the blouse for Miss Universe, Puerto Rico. Um, it, it was exciting because uh, this was actually something uh, having to do with fashion. And, and my work was going to be there. Um, along with uh, a couple of other friends, you know, the, the designer, Jael Caban, uh, came to, to Moca looking for us 
to to help him with his project. He was going to make the dress, and he wanted us to make the applications. I am uh, go. I'm going to try and share this, but I'm worried it might disconnect the video for a second. So if it does stop ah. the video, they can still hear you, but they won't be able to see you. But I do want them to see this dress. So I will oh. pause for a second here and share a new uh, screen, hopefully. Oh, Marissa <coughs> says, absolutely, I need some fancy masks. I've been scaring children with my skeleton face. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for my cereal and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are. Are you seeing this beauty? Is everyone seeing this dress here? Give us your reactions and thumbs up, some emojis, but this is just okay. stunning. <laughs> yeah, so I think we, we did about six applications to make that, that, that blouse. It goes all the way around the back, uh, some on the, on the sleeves. Uh, it, it was exciting. It was look exciting. This, look at that. Um, I'm giving them a close up now from the necklace to the neckline, uh, the application here for Miss Universe. This was in 2015. Yeah, 2014, you, I believe. You made it 2014. Yes. This is amazing here. Yeah, that, that was that was really that was really cool. That was really cool. I enjoyed that. And would you say that is the closest one uh, to your heart, the closest uh, piece that you've worked on to your heart? Look at all these bobbins. No, no, I think the closest one to my heart was actually the simplest one of all, which was the one for the slaves. Wow, amazing. Well, yeah, me... but that was, that was definitely the most exciting one. Yeah. That was exciting, and and uh, we did a runner for the Fortaleza, um, which is the governor's mansion here in Puerto Rico. And uh, the first lady at the time came to Moca looking for a group of artisans, also bob and lace artisans, to uh, commission us to make this this uh, runner for one of the tables at the Fortaleza. <laughs> and that was in the photos that you you that I just shared with them. Uh, yes, we have yes. Marissa saying, "Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's gorgeous." Yes, it is. Um, oh. And she says, mm, "Wedding dresses." Have you done any wedding dresses? Actually, no, I haven't. Not with Bob and Lace. No. All right, Ali, it's time. It's time. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> <laughs> I've sewn Bob. Uh, I've sewn wedding dresses, but I haven't made any with uh, with Bob and Lace. With Bob and Lace. Um, yeah, Something. but that would be exciting too. I've made I've made our handkerchiefs for the wet for the brides. I've made. What about um, the veils? Maybe not clothes. the full dress, but have you done a Bob and Lace veil? No, no, so no, she, I haven't. She made Sandra's dress. Yes, you made I made her wedding, wedding dress. dress. That's right. She's, oh, she, she did say yesterday, in fact. She said you dressed her up from prom to wedding. Yes. <laughs> now that I think of it, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so amazing, really. Thank you. Joey is saying here she made Sandra's dress. And Suzanne is saying the dress is so gorgeous, and I totally agree. And I'm, I'm just, I'm so very grateful for you to have accepted this invitation, to have shared with us a bit of your talent. And I really, really want you to think and take Juan's recommendation seriously, his suggestion to have a podcast, to have a, a video or a conversation where you and uh, Alexis are doing this work, but also continuing to share this talent with us, with the family here and with the world, because it shouldn't just be in this room and it shouldn't just be Joey uh, telling people, oh, you know, we need to do this and pushing this. And now you have an entire family who will be pushing you and pushing for you to, <laughs> to come forward and share this love with us. She knows Juan as John Wayne. 
Okay. Oh, John, yes. So John, yes, is, know, John. John Wayne <laughs> is saying that you and Alexis need to have your podcast and I 1000% support this. And I, again, yield our platform at Africa Week 2020. If you just tell us when you want to have it, we will prepare the link just like we did here. And we will tell the family to tune in and to hear and see more of your work. In the meantime, please, please keep creating, keep making this yes. magic and take pictures so we can then put them online and have people order them. We can sort out the delivery and all of that because it's 2020 and nothing will stop us. Um, right. But we do need more of this art, more of this talent, more of our people's work out there because we really can do anything and everything. And it's really important that we support one another during this time. As you said, we need to stay healthy. We need to stay grounded yeah. and we need to feel one another. And one of the things that was said yesterday in the panels um, by Shayla Monroe, when I asked her, you know, what can the family do to help you sleep better at night? And she said, I just need to know that we love each other. And I think uh, all of us, all of us just need that. And yeah. From us here in the family, uh, I pray that you know that we love you. We love the work that you are doing. We love that you have accepted, despite your shyness, to take this time and share it with us. Uh, and Alexis, I will be getting in touch with you so I can get that bag. And okay. you already have. Anytime, anytime you can show me in the link. Done. I'm done, done, <laughs> done. And on this note, family, if you have any last messages to the family watching you from around the world, Mama Carmen, what would it be? Um, stay safe uh, and keep creating. Stay together. We love each other. Yes, yes. And um, Ali. Tell us yes. something, tell us something, to inspire us, tell us something. Look at that smile. You don't even need to say anything. You just need to smile. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well, I like the interview. Um, this is my first interview I had. It's and the first of many. Love you guys. Stay safe and I love you guys. We love you too. We have nothing but love from you. Marissa is saying, Joey Zaza, well, I guess I'm getting married on the island. It's settled. So it looks like you're going to be making a wedding dress after all. Uh, Joey Zaza I says, love you, mom and Ali. Family, if you haven't already heard, our reunion will be in Puerto Rico <laughs> at some point where we can go, we can visit this place of magic, creation, love, and art, and we can really, really come together. Thank you so, so much. Stay tuned, refresh the page because we have another session coming to you in a day filled with more of this love for everything that we do. Thank you so, so much for taking the time for us. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. Stay, safe. Stay healthy. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.